let's make mini vase, make it mini food, spring edition. There are four of these. We have cupcakes, we have Easter eggs in a basket, we have ham and ultra rare Willy Wonka bars, which I think I have. Let's crack it open. As you can see, this time around, the bowls are purple with clear lids. And with the last ones, plain white table, metallic purple. Bottom. Let's put that in the corner. Hello, destructions. Goodbye, destructions. This is our leaflet. These are the instructions for each. The instructions for each one. And here are four recipes: carrot cupcakes, honey glazed ham, egg basket, and Wonka bars. Word of warning: the eggs do require water, and we have one, two, three, four, five. Seven bags. Start with this one. Have a hoppy day. I really like the colours on these packets. I really put it in here. We have spice rub, a little honey glazed tam on the side, and they are orange and black little tiny sprinkles. And let's, let's do the utensil one. Really like this colour palette on these. In here we have the handle for the ball, which is a little bunny head. I'm going to use something else. We have tongs that match the bottom of the table, which are this shaggy purple. I'm not going to use them. And the fun part of this, just like the Christmas turkey, a silicon brush. I do like those. I wish there was more of them available in these boxes. Excuse this blue tack, white tack, or whatever you want to call it. Told him he's saying up. This one, which said keep cool. It's obviously all resin, which is a glaze for a hem. I'm gonna pop this somewhere to get warm. Jump into spring. I don't know. Here we have hey, it's our ham. This does have a couple of separate slices that come off here, which we will see when I take the wrapping off. Next we have a bottle of cherries. Next, some to bake sweet sauce, a little bunnies. We have pineapple slices. Pineapple slices. And last but not least, Thank you, have an excellent day. We have our platter. That is, not sure how well it's coming across on camera, but that is a very bright green check on there. Ooh, that's very bright. Let's bring in the mat and let's begin. Let's get making. I'll bring this in. And if you know, if you've seen my channel before and you've seen what I do, I don't, I'm not a fan of using the plates. Let's crack open this ham. It does have perforated line right there and there we go got it at last okay so this is our ham and it's supposed to one slice two slices of ham yum I'm going to put them aside and I'm going to use them in some remixes and I'm just going to use the main bit of ham. I'm just going to put them on there. Well, these are wedged in, aren't they? Oh, God. Who actually puts pineapple on top of the hams? This is an American thing. Because I don't think anyone here in England actually does. At least, that's what I don't know. Yeah. I'm just going to put the two of them on. First, you need two cherries. I 
hate these squay bottles. Everybody else, absolutely make me. I'm just like the turkey. I'm just gonna do it with a very thin layer. I do have baby wipes. Two hands. Immediately clean up because I can't find my gloves. I'm still waiting for my order to arrive. Let's add just a little bit of the spice rub. Glaze back. Just a drop. Just enough to secure the pineapple to the top. Under the lamp to set those for 10 seconds, real quick. Pineapples are set. Bring back the resin. And again, just need enough to secure the cherries onto the top. Who actually has lamb? Ham on Easter. And let's fully set that under the lamp. And let's clean up. Voila! One Easter ham with pineapples and cherries. Easter eggs. The Easter ones do show you just like all the other Chris the specials, Halloween and the Christmas ones and the Valentine's, they do show you what's on the wrapper. The Wonka bar is hidden inside of a ham. Doesn't rattle. The ham rattles because of the cherries. Wonka bar doesn't. Let's crack this open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, purple tongs, bunny topper, and this, this you need to use with water for the eggs. We have a chocolate bunny. Can't take it out of the box completely. You can leave them in, which is what I'm going to do because I have my other chocolate bunny. Put them over there. And there's no resin with the eggs. We don't have to worry about that. We have a piece of ribbon and a cellophane bag. is the little bowl that you're supposed to do the eggs in but I'm not going to use that this is our little egg basket which as you can see has been squished ever so slightly I'm just going to give it a quick squeeze and try and reshape it I'll get my heat going out and I'll reshape it at some point because today I'm not going to fill the basket like it shows on the instructions. I'm just going to do the eggs to show you how to do them. And that's it. But I will get my heat gun and reshape that so it looks nice again. Anything that we have the packing material to go in the basket. Again, 
I'm not doing that today. That's just messy. And last but not least, we have hot pink egg box. Happy Sun Farms. Happy Sun Farms Grid E Mini Eggs Blue Chick Bright Pink Old Six and will open to reveal six white eggs, one of which, if you look, I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick it up, but this one in the middle top is actually cracked. How cute is that? And this is the eggs. These are really simple. You use this, some mortar, and I've got the little ball. But all you do, place the egg on there, and swish it around in the water. And eventually, the white cotton on it will come off. And I got the little jug, by the way, which holds about 40 to 50 mils from Morrison's, I think, for about a pound. I've got two of them. This is my spare one. And let's see if I can hook the egg up. Nope. <laughs> I have to use the fingers. And, oh, look at that. That was a complete gamble. Each pack of eggs has one golden egg. And I found it on the first try. Yay! So, that's one. This takes a little while. So let's skip ahead to all six of them being done. In three, two, one. We're back. And as you can see, we have six non-white eggs anymore. So we got, let's take these out, yep. look, yes, that's still wet, I don't care. So here we have the golden one, pink chevrons, green chevrons, pale pink stripes, blue stripes, and a blue spotty one. And the cracked one for me is the peel pink one. You can just about make out it has a little crack there over the top. Those are our eggs. That was a really simple one. No resin involved, just some water. Next, cupcakes. I have already opened this to see if it was the Wonka one because I got mixed up. I thought I'd picked up the ham one open to check and I didn't. It was the cupcakes, so this is partially open because I got too excited and tried to open it in the car. Is probably why I picked up the wrong one in the first place. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get this one on the first. So this is our resin. Sprinkles, green and pink and yellow pastels. Very cute. Come on, on table. And then we have the tongs, the bunny, and in this one we get a spatula with a hot pink handle. Little simple. And the top one, yeah, it's not just me, it's a little bent. I'm going to put all over. Here we have our cookie decorations. We have some little bunny ears and carrots. Two sets of ears stick straight up. One and two sets have a little bent ear. How very, very cute. And the last one should be cupcakes. Now I'm not gonna do all of these, you know what I'm like. I'm gonna do one because they're 
cute. And I'm going to put a little card on it. Well, I might. Yeah, I'm going to stick a card on some sprinkles. Because come on, see stuff. Look at these. Got little green and white gingham cupcake cases that match the tree from the ham. These are supposed to be carrot flavoured. Bring this in. And this, um, let's grab a spatula. I'm just going to carefully open this. So anyone who gets these knows that if you open it a bit too hard, whoosh, things go everywhere. So I'm going to use, yeah, I don't think I'm going to use a carrot. I think I'm going to use one of the bunny ears. I know I'm going to pick one of those with the little bend in the ear. It's just too cute. So I'll leave that there. Let's grab our cream cheese frosting. Give it a dip. Just extend to the other side. And this should be white. Very thick. I used to decorate cakes, you know. this day standing while I do this and then oh, kind of very carefully Easter cookie, sprinkles and bananas. Last one we have ham on the side. No rattle. And it's golden. Which means only one thing, people. We got the rare. We got one girl. So let's crack this bad boy open. I can see this one has ham all the way over, but we knew we've got the rare. And as you can see in the top already, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Definitely the Wonga one. This one comes with the gold table stand, but again, the plain white. I wish they would decorate them like the Halloween ones. Anybody else feel that way? No, just me? Okay. I gotcha. I see. And then this one we have one, two, three, four, five. Start with the utensils. And we have again the bunny ears, the bunny topper, and golden tongs. Let's put them to one side. 
I'm loving the themed packaging for this. Not a big fan of the film though. It was alright, but you can't beat the original. At least not mine though. In here we have a rubber bent golden ticket. And this is actually the golden ticket. I'm hoping I can get this one with you without doing that. And I'm going to use these to pull it out. This packet is all bent. One very shiny golden ticket. I'm just going to put that back on there for now. Why is it after bed with it? More packaging like the Easter eggs. This time in purple. Again, I'm not going to do that. Let's get this one open. Fizzy lift and dream. I love that too. And as you can see, we have two balls of resin and two nozzles. This is a first for Miniverse. I wish they did this more often, especially when it comes to drinks. But we got two chocolate Mongol ones. Pop them in this warm place to warm up and put the nozzles to one side. And here we have. Uh, packaging for our chata bars so we have foils and the wrap article around the actual bar sticker to keep them shut and a little longer bar box which i'll put together out when that we will bring to this one and here we have our silver mold to make chocolate bars i'm going to keep this upside down and keep the dust out and as we get so much resin, we can make lots of boxes. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory printed on the bottom. Got the Wonka bar on the side. And of course, that's the rest of our box. I'm just going to make one bar today. Just for demonstration purposes. Bring on our scissors and get this open very carefully because it's not a lot of space. So we have multiple little one. Oh, there's a lot of two, three, four, five, six. We have these little sticky dots to keep the bars open, which means we probably also have six pieces of foil. But I'm going to attempt to get just one piece and put everything else back in here so that we're missing you are supposed to put the golden ticket inside with this i'm not going to do that today i want to keep it nice so let's bring in one of our bottles of resin and a nozzle and let's get making a chocolate bar. Time to be Willy Wonga. And it's over. And let's fill it. Settle. I'm just gonna make another one just so I've got one. Two hands is definitely better to get the chocolate out. To chocolate resin out. Just top that up a bit. back over and make sure it's going right up to the edges and this one on the right do is just a little bit more in it do not overload them yep no one do Oh. 
on. Get rid of the bubbles. Well, I think it's okay in something like this to have some bubbles. Gives it character. Plus, we all know chocolate bars aren't perfect when they come in the packet anyway. Whack this under the lamp and get it set. I'm gonna do 30 seconds. I'm gonna do two full rounds in 89 seconds. One with it facing the way it is, and then I'm gonna flip it to make sure it's well set in that time. Let's tidy up a little. It's been through twice. These are nicely set. We have two. Chocolate bars. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've just noticed. I should look to the moon before I move these. I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up. But. This is going to be really tricky. There. You can see. A W for Wonka. On top of each piece. How cute is that? How did I not notice that? That will teach us to look. Right. Now the tricky part, wrapping it up, so shiny side down, and I'm just going to get what I usually do, stuff one side, tuck in the edge, all the way around the corner, tuck in the short side, tuck it in around the corner, Fold it over, fold over the edge, fold over the edge, yeah, and then that goes around and use one of these apparently, somehow, these are supposed to be clear, yeah, these are just not the clear spots, I know the back looks a mess, but you're not going to see it in a second, so I don't care, fold over, over. Center it as best you can. And then grab one of these little clear stickers. Stick it on the back. Not perfect, but I don't care. Voila! One itty bitty wonka ball. Thanks for watching. Bye!